Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to go over an example with you in Excel that will show you how you can calculate accounting breakeven and financial breakeven for a specific project. In other words, how you can determine those quantities that can help you break even on your project on an accounting basis and on a financial basis. So let's go straight to the example. So Tinker Toys Incorporated has just purchased a $455,000 machine to produce action figures. The machine will be fully depreciated using the straight line method over its five year economic life. Each action figure sells for $15 and the variable cost to produce each action figure is $5. So that means that the margin is $10. Margin is essentially sale price minus the variable cost. So 15 minus five, which is 10. Uh, the firm also incurs fixed costs of $315,000. Uh, the corporate tax rate for the company is given as 24%. The appropriate discount rate is also given as 12%. The question says calculate the accounting and financial breakeven quantities for the project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to write down all the inputs that are given to me. So the capital expenditure is given for 55,000. Useful life is given five years. This will actually help me calculate depreciation later. Uh, tax rate is given, sale price, variable cost, fixed costs. I've written all of these down over here. Now, first, we're going to calculate accounting breakeven. When you're calculating your accounting breakeven, you're, what you're trying to figure out is that how much am I making on each unit over and above my variable cost, which in this case is your margin or $10. And then you're trying to find out how many units you need to sell and therefore how many times you need to make this margin to cover not just your fixed costs, but also your initial investment over the life of the project. And the way to do that is by also accounting for whether you'll be covering depreciation, which if you think about it is just you expensing or spreading out the cost of the machine over the useful life of the project. And so before going directly to the break even calculations, I'm first gonna calculate my depreciation. Depreciation is simply equal to $455,000 divided by five. So that's $91,000. My margin is going to be price minus my variable cost, which is $10. And so based on this, my accounting break even is simply going to be equal to my fixed costs, which is 315,000 plus my depreciation divided by my margin, which is $10. And so if I do that math, I get 40,600 units. So these are the number of units that I need to sell in order to break even on an accounting basis. The next part of the question asks you to calculate financial break even. Now financial break even is something different. Specifically, financial break even is calculated as equivalent annual cost of the project plus fixed costs into one minus the tax rate minus T times depreciation over price minus variable cost into one minus the tax rate. Now I know this is a elaborate looking formula and the exact rationale for this formula is something that I've talked about in a separate video, but essentially the idea behind financial breakeven quantity is that what is the quantity that makes this project a zero NPV project? Not a zero profit project, but a zero NPV project. Think about it. If you are breaking even on an accounting basis, then technically what you're making is a negative NPV investment because over the five year duration of the project, if all, all you've done is just made enough money to cover your fixed costs and the initial capital expenditure, then you haven't really accounted for the money that you've lost in terms of opportunity cost over the five year life, right? So the project is a negative NPV, which means that all else equal financial break even quantity is going to be higher than the accounting break even quantity. You're going to need to make more money on an accounting basis so that you can be breaking even on a financial basis. So the first step here is to figure out the equivalent annual cost of this investment, which is called EAC. 
The way to do that is to figure out the payment at your discount rate, which is given 12%. Uh, the number of time periods is five, which is the useful life of the investment. And the present value is this $455,000. And I'm gonna enter this as a negative so that my number comes out to a positive number. So the equivalent annual cost is 126,221.43. Now I have all the ingredients to figure out my financial break even. So this is going to be equal to my equivalent annual cost, which I've just calculated, plus my fixed costs multiplied by one minus the tax rate, which is given minus the tax rate times the depreciation expense, which is given. I'm going to put all of this in one big bracket. And then I'm gonna divide this by my margin, which is price minus variable cost, which I know is 10 multiplied by one minus the tax rate. And so when I do this math, 45,234 units. No surprises that this quantity is more than your accounting break even. And so there you have it, a simple example to show you how you can calculate accounting and financial break even in Excel. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning!